Hey, sweetheart. How is everybody? Y'all, I've been digging in my craft room. Yes. And I did find some things that I haven't seen in a while. I forgot I had them, to tell you the truth. Now, y'all know I got two great big old stacks of paper up there, the 12 by 12s. And I do use them. But, y'all, I run across some more that I forgot I even had. So, I pulled it out. And some of those will work good for the holiday, but I'll use them for something else. But, uh... A lot of these are hot buys, but this one is the rose gold. Isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely adore this paper. And y'all, I forgot about it. So, I'm pulling out this paper so I can start using it on some embellishments. Y'all, I had got this chestnut roasting paper. And it is the... Oh, Lord have mercy. It is the big sheets of paper. But these would work great for those boxes that Miss Judy told us how to make. And y'all, I watched the live last night. She has got another hexagon uh, box she built and added. Oh, my heavens. It'd make a great desk caddy. That's what it is, is a desk caddy. But I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch the video a couple more times and then I might try that. That's how I do, y'all. I watched the videos two or three times. Miss Judy, the last video she put up, I done the same way. I watched it like two or three times and then I done it. And so I got them little boxes kind of down pat my head. Um, sometimes if I forget, like the cutting, you know, exactly where I'm at on it, I'll go back and rewatch her video again on that. So that's a great way to learn, y'all. A great way. But I want to show you that one. I had got this one meant to be. Isn't that pretty? But y'all, these papers are just gorgeous and they will work perfect for what I'm needing them for. So, I'm, like I said, I'm kind of figuring out what I got, what I ain't got. I'm not buying no more paper. None. I've got enough. I've got the Maggie Holmes Bloom. This, and y'all, most of these I've got the 6x6 books to go with them too. Uh, now everybody knows, I Maggie Holmes is okay. It's not one of my favorite papers to work with. Um, I'm kind of on the bounds about that on some of them. That is okay, but now this one I do like. This is the Maggie Holmes Flourish, and I do love that. It's got the florals and things like that, and the butterflies and all, so that one, you know, I can work with this. But, like I said, I forgot all about these papers. Uh, I don't even know what that is. I got um, the Candy uh, Retro. I have used some of it, but it's just a cool paper pad. And like I said, you know, sometimes we forget exactly what we do have. And, and y'all, that's always my case. I forget. I like this. Now, this is 48 sheets of designer paper. And it's my mind's eye. And it's in bloom. And I think that is beautiful paper. I love this. That has got some pretty, pretty pieces in it. So, I'm like, okay. Because what I was doing is pulling out some spring you know, getting some stuff ready to start doing cards and things like that. I got the French Prep designer paper, and I love this. This is, uh, you know, a lot of my styles. And this is thinner paper, so it would be easier to use, like, to cover or something. So, you know, I have to reinforce it. But, like I said, it's got some beautiful papers in there. That is light blue. I don't even know if you can tell that or not. Let me turn on another light here. But anyway, this light blue and polka dots. And uh, I think that is gorgeous. There's a lot of these papers that I really do love. I love that. That to me looks like old wallpaper in an old Victorian house. And that I think is just gorgeous. Does not look old. You'd expect to see these in a French chateau or something like that. So, you know, it is what it is. I like it. But this... I had forgot about, and Gina, I think, had gave me this. This makes four reefs ready to do it yourself. All you do is cut out the templates, and it makes these four reefs. Now, I probably won't do those, but, y'all, this paper is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it is gorgeous. And I'm like, ah, okay. And see, it gives you all the templates and directions on the back. 
but I really, really like that. That was, um, I think I bought that from Gina in a D stash. I'm pretty sure I did, but like I said, um, I showed you the carousel. Let's see. No, that was in bloom, and then the flourish from Maggie Holmes, and then this is the Maggie Holmes carousel, and I do like it too. But and you see these, you know, they're almost brand new pans, y'all. I don't think I've used anything out of them, so I'm going to start using some of them. And y'all know I bought Bocos from Gina, uh, Trina, and a couple other people of these stashes. So, you know, I like those. This is the uh, paper studio I found, and it's got everything still in it. But uh, it'd be pretty for summer, you know, spring and summer. And uh, this... I don't know where it even came from, but it's a pretty paper pad, you know, different kinds of papers and stuff in it. He said, I'm not even sure where that one came from. And, uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you those, but that rose gold, I was really tickled of finding it. Like I said, I had forgot about it. And, uh, I love it. I love it. But, anyway, that's what I'm trying to do is go through my craft room and find stuff that I got that I forgot. And, uh, I got another section coming up. I'm going to have to have help on, y'all. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff here. And I know how to use it, but I'm going to play around with it. Uh, y'all, back, uh, I tell y'all all the time about the stores around here, the little shops and things like that, that we can go to Christian ministries, places like that. Well, about probably a year and a half ago, it might have been two years. It was before I actually started making my own videos. I had went to uh, Christian Ministries and found embossing powders. Mm -hmm. Somebody had been crafting and got rid of all of them. Well, I bought almost all of them. But now let me show you what I did. I picked up one of the stamping pads for the clear for embossing. And I had bought several of the pencils and things like that for embossing. But this is like imprints and it's gold. This is gold. And you see how big of a bottle that is. Y'all, I got that bottle for a dollar. Mm-hmm. A dollar. And some of these companies, that's that company's from Tennessee. This is from Massachusetts. And this is copper. And you see how much is in there. Y'all, I paid 50 cents for this bottle. I got... The silver uh, embossing powder. And this is another one from Massachusetts. I got it for 50 cents. And so I need to start using some of these. And playing around and just seeing what I can do. This is the Stamp Lady Kaleidoscope Embossing Paper. I got it for 50 cents. So like I said, somebody had embossed a lot. And had quit embossing or passed away or whatever. Because this all come out of there. This is Egyptian gold. It is gorgeous. 50 cent, y'all. 50 cent. I got the red. And this one is... Uh, da, 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 da. This is made in California. Personal Stamp Exchange from California. I got it for 50 cent. And it is a great big old ball of the red. I got um, this one. It is uh, in cement color embossing powder. And you see that? I got it for 50 cents. And y'all, I know these are, uh, the price tags were on the top. I don't know what they were to originally, but I know they were more than 50 cents. Uh, this is white embossing powder. And I got it. This is the stamp and lady, 50 cents also. I got this bottle. This had a little bit left in it, so it was 25 cents. And this is called Stardust. And it's kind of a silver, very fine silver, but it's pretty. And I got um, this embossing powder. And it's uh, the one that's got the gold, the black, the green. And I got it for 50 cents. And y'all, it's a full bottle. But it, you know, they all have your uh, directions and everything tells you how to do it. Your heat source, all that, and I got my heat gun down there. This is Pearl X Pigments, and uh, this is Interference Blue, 
versatile, deep luster, and non-tarnishing, weather-resistant. So, in its full. It's a full bottle. And I got this for 50 cent. And y'all, back whenever this was bought, and I know that tag is old. Old, old, old tag. But it had 550 on there. So, like I said, 50 cent. And I got, um, this, um, I'm going to say this is more of a beige. And this is the Stamp Lady, 50 cent again. And some of these are iridescent. Some of them are uh, matte. So, uh, this is a pearl white. The one I just showed you a while ago. The from Pearl X. And this one, 50 cent. And it's full. It's just a full bottle of it. So, I've got that one. I got, now this is a gray. A sterling silver. I say gray. It's sterling silver embossing powder. And y'all, I've got this one for 50 cent. And see how much powder is in there. And this powder will last you forever. Because, you know, when you sprinkle on your project, you drop it off on a piece of paper. And then put it back in your jar so, you know, you don't lose any on it. This is for raised image embossing powder. Non-toxic, acid-free. Uh, this is called the bridal. This, I don't know. This looks like an old Walmart tag or a Kmart tag. So I don't know how old that is. But anyway, this one was 50 cent. And it's a full bottle. And, uh, yeah, this was for raised images. So, a lot of these, I'm going to, I did play around with them for a while. And then I stopped. And I've got all kinds of my embossing pens I have bought, you know, uh, to do my images and stuff with. I just kind of got out of stamping. So, that's one thing I am going to do is get back in stamping. And then, uh. I've had a lot of these metallic waxes, antique gold and uh, aqua. I'm going to start using and playing more with these. I uh, I like this stuff. And then this is a uh, cream wax. And, uh, you know, Tuesday mornings, of course. But, you know, you can't beat this stuff. And like I said, what, I'm, it's a shame that I got it and I'm not playing with it. And this is sparkle paste. And this is Arctic Shimmer. And y'all, this is gorgeous. Lord, is that gorgeous. See that color and all that sparkle in there? But that's what that is. And these are these are brand new jars. And I bought most of these from a D-Stash. You know, so this is a silver metallic paint tinted. And uh, this is from Little Birdie. I think I got this from a D-Stash from Train. I'm pretty sure it did. But see, it's a full bubble of silver. I've got the copper. Uh metallic paint you know so another full bottle uh this one oh my gosh this is the large mica flakes you know mica glitters almost like gold or crystals i mean you know they're pretty but this is the large flakes so that would make some pretty projects can you see that see it's big old micro flakes we used to get uh, fine micro uh, rocks and chip them off and use them projects when I was a kid. I remember doing that. But this one's already chipped so I don't have to buy or uh, do it and take my time. But this is Mica Flakes and it's the natural. And y'all, that's a big old ball. I think this came from a D-Stash from Trim. I'm pretty sure of that. But this one, uh, Gesso. Black Gesso. I keep a great big old bottle of white Gesso that I use but this is Black Gesso. I like that. And this one is a sparkle, and this one, oh, this is beautiful, sparkle, uh, and this is paste, and this is called Silver Sage. Isn't that gorgeous? But this is kind of stuff I'm, I'm hunting down right now. I had put it kind of to the back, and now I'm going to get this out and start playing with it. I have a lot of different things that I've used and done, but this is stuff I want to get back into. Like I said, my embossing and images, because... I like to stamp, you know, but I, I need to get better at it. So, you know, this is just some of the things I found. But, y'all, these embossing powders was a great deal. And I was I was lucky to find them that day because, of, like I said, that is a lot of powder. And that's it. You know, just kind of, you know, I told y'all, y'all know I don't do set golds or anything like that. 
but I do sometimes go back and revisit what I have done and like, okay, I need to learn to do this better or I want to play with this more and uh, I, I kind of do that. So that's kind of what I was doing today. I, in fact, I was looking for something else when I pulled all this crap out. So <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, that was a good sheet, but that was good. So now I gotta find a place to put all this. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. But anyway, that's that's what you know, we can kind of shop in our own area. And I can do a lot of shopping in here, y'all. But I I need to do a little moving around and a little bit more different organiza organization <coughs> because I really do need more room. Uh, I've got so much stuff, I need a place to put it. And so, but I look at it, and it's so crowded, and I'm like, where in the heck? I mean, y'all remember, I live in single wide my palm. I'm like, where in the heck am I going to put it while I'm trying to make room in it? Because, y'all, this will drain my bedroom. <laughs> I'd have it from the living room, the kitchen, the other bedroom, the other bedroom, and the bathrooms. I'd have it packed. And then had to put it all back in. So, we'll see what I can do and what I'm thinking about. But anyway, that's it. Hugs, love, kisses. God bless you always. I love each and every one of you. Sleep with angels every night. Hugs, everybody. Bye, darlings.